Hello, I'm Emily. Welcome to Tech World, your quick roundup of the top technology news stories from across the globe. For this episode's Hot Topic interview, we spoke with Daniel Lyons from EY about how technology is revolutionising modern transport. First though, here are your top international stories. Uber CEO Travis Kalanick announced he was taking time away from the ride-hailing firm following numerous recent controversies centering on company culture. Former US Attorney General Eric Holder conducted an investigation into the company and suggested a reduction in Kalanick's sweeping authority. Britain's biggest carmaker Jaguar Land Rover invested $25 million in Lyft, becoming the latest car giant to pick a side in the battle between the taxi hailing app and its arch rival Uber. JLR will also provide Lyft with a fleet of vehicles and work with it to develop driverless car technology. Swedish headquartered Hexagon AB held talks about a possible acquisition by an unnamed rival. The Wall Street Journal reported that the acquisition could value the industrial technology company at $20 billion. Amazon is to acquire organic food chain Whole Foods Market for $13.7 billion. Amazon has long had ambitions to move into the grocery business and its acquisition of Whole Foods will see it gain around 460 stores, including nine here in the UK. Business communications company Slack is in the midst of raising a $500 million round at a $5 billion post-money valuation. The firm is also rumoured to have attracted a number of potential buyers, including Amazon, Microsoft, Google and Salesforce. That's it for our top global tech news roundup, but keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topics interview. We spoke with Daniel Lyons from EY about how technology is revolutionising modern transport. Daniel, thanks for joining us today. So our topic of conversation for today is smart mobility. What exactly is smart mobility? So for us, we define smart mobility as the way to move more people um, or goods in a way that is faster, cleaner, uh, more efficient and more e economical than the existing modes of transport. It's about creating a frictionless, personalised, on-demand mode of transport. Okay, so we're not just talking specifically about driverless cars, there's much more to it than that. Yeah, that's right. I think driverless cars get a lot of attention in the media and they grab all the headlines, but smart mobility is a much broader topic than, than self-driving cars. Um, when we, you know, we actually think about three groups of activity within the smart mobility world. The first one is on on-demand or autonomous uh, journeys, uh, which is really ride-sharing, ride-hailing, car-sharing, carpooling. It does include robo-taxis as well as subscription-based services um, for for, for, for car sharing or journeys. The second one is all around um, technology, whether it's hardware or software to support um, vehicles. Um, and so within that, that's where autonomous vehicle technology exists. So um, whether it's the um, deep learning or artificial intelligence technology, or um, some of the hardware like LIDARs or sensors and things like that. It's also connected, connected car and it's also electric vehicles. So uh, fuel cell technology or lithium batteries or in-car entertainment. And the third group is integrated mobility solutions. And that would be planning solutions, booking solutions for multimodal transport. It might be infrastructure and transport solutions like smart parking or city planning um, and um, data and analytics. So in the overall smart mobility market, what kind of activity are we seeing at the moment? So smart mobility is an absolutely hot topic. I think it's fueled by lots of mega deals and exits for early stage entrepreneurs and tech startups that we're seeing almost weekly at the moment, especially as some of the large automotive companies are desperately trying to um, uh, face up to some of the disruption that smart mobility is bringing. Um, that's also created a, a lot of interest from the funding and venture capital side and we're seeing now dozens if not hundreds of accelerators and incubators fo focused almost exclusively on smart mobility including several here in London and other parts of the UK. Um, it's a topic that's been embraced by consumers, we've seen take up of some of the services really, really rocket. Um, so yeah, it's an absolutely hot topic at the moment. Okay, so lots of innovation taking place. What are we expecting to see in the short to medium term? 
So I think we're really only just getting started and some of the things are still being defined. Um, I think we're in mobility 1.0, if you like, which is dominated by kind of ride sharing services. Uh, mobility 2.0, which is just around the corner, will be about more integrated solutions, more sort of multimodal transport options. Uh, and we're starting to see some of that already. And then further down the line, we'll see mobility 3.0, which will be where we really take advantage of some of these new technologies like self-driving vehicles, where we'll have fully autonomous cars or blockchain enabled technology like fractional car ownership. Okay, so lots of potential innovation there. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining us, Daniel. My pleasure. That's all for this episode. To get more top tech news straight to your inbox, visit techcitynews.com forward slash subscribe.